Hello, sweet soul. Welcome back. My name is Birgit Fenstenstadler. Wow, that was a pretty intense week. <laughs> so much has happened. And if you remember from our last video, I was asking you about what's your intention for this year? What is the place that you want to live from? What is that state of being? that feeling that you want to express every single day that you want to have as your main resource. So it's not about having it come in from somewhere from the outside. It's about how can I practice and embody the feeling state that I wish to experience in my life. So this week we'll dive a little bit deeper into that. Like how do I get from that state? If I had Oof, this really intense week, if it was stressful, if I feel a lot of tension, if I still oof, I have quite a bit of stuff on my shoulders, maybe from last year, maybe from early this year, it just keeps piling on and I haven't quite been able to, to shake it or to recover from it. So what can we do? First of all, let's take a deep breath together. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Good. Take another deep one through your nose. Exhale, side out. Ah. Third's a charm. Inhale slowly. Exhale, release. Ah. Good. Arrive in your body. Be really here with me for just a minute. What do you notice? What's going on? physical sensations in your body, what's there today, any tension, notice a slight strain behind my right shoulder blade, it often comes, it's a well-known friend, what do you notice on a mental level, like what thoughts are passing through right now, one of the thoughts in here is, oh I hope I don't forget everything that I wanted to say, <laughs> and Another one is, hmm, this feels good. I love recording these little videos and being here for you. And I hope it serves you. What's passing through in your mind today? You know, it's just these little thought clouds. We don't have to get hooked up in them all the time. It tends to happen, but we can just let them go. What's happened on, a, in, on an emotional level? What emotions are passing through? I often think of them as waves, like they get triggered by something, they build, they peak, and then they subside. And our mind sometimes tries to make us believe that they're gonna stick around forever, but trust me, they won't. <laughs> so the more we can relax into what is, like right now, I feel a slight giddiness because, ooh, I get to record a video. And I know that will also peak and it will subside. Maybe it's peaking right now because I'm actually recording. <laughs> and so the question is, can we manage to not push any feeling away, like an unwanted feeling of sadness or fear? And can we not get attached and hold on so strongly to the feelings that we want to persist? Like they're gonna pass through either way and it's okay. We can just be with them and allow them to be here while they are here. So what's here for you now? Good, allow it. And then, how's your sweet soul doing today? Just check in with that little spark in here that is still here when we forget about all the labels. It doesn't matter which roles you're taking on throughout the day, what certificates you have or don't have, what you own or don't own, it doesn't matter. Where is that sweet little light that's still here when we let everything else fall aside? And then breathe into that for a moment. Breathe into this connection. Maybe you wanna place a hand on your heart Does that feel a bit more grounded? Good, sweet, 
Sweet! So I think there are two major aspects of really living from that feeling state that we want to live from. The first one is our ability to ground. And we can do that with little breathing exercises like the one we just did. And there's plenty of others that I'll be happy to point you to. And the second part is, how can I uplift my energy to that good place? I'm making a slight assumption here. My assumption is that the place that you would like to live from is something that is positively charged, something that is maybe friendly, maybe inspired, inspiring, maybe it's loving, maybe it's compassionate, maybe it's really getting things going. So all of that is connotated with a feeling of I trust in who I am and some activated energy. And so to get to that place of activated energy, we just want to think for a moment of what are the things where I truly experience joy? Like what in my life brings that to me? So for many of us, that is a version of play. How do you play in your life? Like is that something that you left behind when uh, you kind of graduated from childhood? If you ever did, I'm not sure I did. Or better say, I sometimes try to remind myself that I don't need to graduate from childhood because as children, we are pretty good at some things that then we tend to forget. So first of all, children are so good at being absorbed in play, they just completely forget the world around them. And then the second part, because of that being absorbed into something ability, they're also really connected to their intuitive knowledge. And so if we want to tease a little bit of that out and want to experience that a little more now every day, how can we get back into that play mode? For me, there is a couple of aspects that I love about this. And maybe some of them resonate for you. So take what is useful, discard the rest. First one, I love moving my body. The worst thing that can happen to me is that somebody tells me to sit on the couch all day and not move. It's not the worst thing that could happen, obviously. No, I love moving my body. Let's just stick with that. <laughs> like that can be dancing, that can be running, that can be acro yoga. That's one of my favorites. It makes me feel really deeply connected to my body, my being, to how I move through the world, how I move through space, how I connect with other people. And right now, in many parts of the world, we may be restricted in the way how we can come together as a community and physically bond and, um, and physically play together. So take that and make it work for, for whatever is possible in your context. The second part uh, that is really important to play is there, there's got to be some room for no structure, for just exploring. Some people call it being silly, some people call it adventuring, some people call it just being, like be who I am authentically am. And to give ourselves permission to do that, a lot of the times we're very goal driven, very focused on the thing that we want to achieve next. But can we allow ourselves to have no specific goal for the playtime? Whether that's engaging with a board game or a video game, of course those games do have goals in themselves, but just to enjoy ourselves being in the moment more than having to reach a certain level or so. Or for some people the way into play can be drawing, singing, painting, writing a poem, any creative expression. So all of this the creative doing, the following the things that spark our joy, that spark our bliss, that is what elevates our energy. Now the catch-22 is, or the crooks, when we find ourselves in a lower energy state, then maybe we don't even want to do those things. When the world weighs really heavily on our shoulders, sometimes it just feels like, oh man, I don't really want to get off the couch. Has that ever happened to you? Where you think, oh yeah, I love doing these things and I know they bring me joy, but oh, I don't even have the energy to do them. That's kind of our mind trying to tell us, 
you know what, we're just going to conserve the energy. The thing is, that's an evolutionary thing from when your body needed to preserve as much energy and be as energy efficient as possible to survive. Now for lifting ourselves into the state of being that we want to experience, which is a slightly more activated on where we can express ourselves, where we can engage with others, or where we can just feel content and at peace within our center, that does take a little bit of activation. And so find a way to talk yourself into, yeah, this is the state that I want to experience. This is what I'm aiming for. And therefore I'm going to go play now because I will feel amazing the second I start or five minutes after. That will be me going for a run. Sometimes I don't feel amazing when I start. <laughs> the first five minutes are suffering until my body has settled into, oh, now we're on a completely new state. And then it's enjoyable. And what really helps for me is to encapsulate that feeling state in a short statement. Like, what is that for you? Pick the feeling state. I want to feel loving, playful, and blessed. Like those are my three for right now. The blessed has to do a lot with gratitude. I want to feel that gratitude all the time. So that as a verbal reminder, and I have this on post-its on my walls. <laughs> Looks funny and I love it, all the colors. Um, that as a verbal reminder, so I see it several times every day and then reconnecting to that feeling state inside and then, okay, how do I activate that? All right, time for a little play. Yes. So that's what I would love to share with you this week. Little recap. First of all, check in with yourself, a couple of deep breaths to really settle and notice what is going on right now. Like where am I even starting being present with that? and accepting that fully, allowing it to be there, whatever it is. Second part, reconnecting to what I want to experience in my life. Like what's that feeling state that you wish to feel? And then third part, your version of play, of uplifting your energy to that place. Whether it is literal play, whether it is creative arts expression, whether it is singing, dancing, playing some games, your call. You know what resonates best for you. Go find that, go dig that up. Maybe you haven't done it in a little while. Maybe it's gotten lost in between all the to-dos. So make sure to go look for it. Spend some time on that this week. I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week.